this right here is my main computer. The computer that I use is the... What I use and recommend... My laptop of choice. I just got myself... We exclusively edit on... All right, so in today's video, we will be looking at what computer do top creators actually use. There can be a lot of confusion around this with brand partnerships and tech coming out and different creators talking about so many different products, but let's get down to it. What computer are they actually using? Let's kickstart it with Sam Colt. So this right here is my main computer. It is the new 16 inch M1 Max MacBook Pro. And to be honest, I couldn't be happier with this. This computer with the combination of DaVinci Resolve has been incredible. I'm able to take my footage straight from camera, whether it's a 4K 120 FPS, high bitrate footage, bring it into DaVinci and work with it right away with no issues. I no longer have to make proxies, which has probably been the biggest leap forward with this computer compared to my old one. And honestly, skimming through my timeline has never been more seamless. This computer is so fast. Now, DaVinci Resolve is definitely the software I spend the most amount of time in. I do occasionally go back to After Effects, but when it comes to Premiere or Final Cut, I am completely done with those programs, never really touching them again. Final Cut's great, but it's honestly pretty limiting. And when it comes to Premiere, I just never find that program to be reliable, especially on the Mac operating system, which is the only operating system that I use. I fully switched over to DaVinci Resolve. The list of reasons as to why I think it's the best is very long, but the main ones are node-based color grading, node-based compositing, and also just reliability. It's definitely the most reliable software I've ever used. Haven't had any issues with it. And at the end of the day, I think that that's the most important thing for me as an editor. Now, when I'm traveling, I like to use my iPad as an external design display. I'll connect it to my MacBook using Sidecar. And when I'm back at home in the office, I connect this computer to my other 4K monitors. The external monitors definitely give me a lot more room to play around in. And that is my ideal setup. But yeah, that's my current setup. And I honestly couldn't be happier. Hey, Chris, thanks so much for thinking about me for this video. So this computer behind me is the computer that I use for about 95% of all of my video projects. Uh, it is a 2017 iMac. I basically just bought, I think, like the most souped up version at the time. I don't think I've run into any significant problems. Uh, I do edit on Final Cut Pro 10, mainly because of legacy, is because like I've always edited on Final Cut, and then when I switched over from Final Cut 7 to Final Cut 10, I really didn't have any major problems. I was even able to edit uh, both of my Netflix documentaries on Final Cut. I love uh, the magnetic timeline. I find that I can edit really, really fast. Most YouTube projects I can cut in a day or two. I would credit most of that with having 10 years of experience editing and putting over 10,000 hours into editing versus the application itself, but I have found that the application doesn't slow me down. I haven't upgraded or changed my system yet. Obviously, this computer is quite a few years old. I might switch up my system a little bit just to make it more portable and take advantage of some of the recent developments from Apple. Uh, yeah, this is my computer setup. It works for me. And I hope that that was really helpful. Chris, thanks so much for thinking of me. Love your videos. Keep doing what you're doing. And I'll see you soon. Bye. Hey Chris, how's it going? Thank you for having me on. Uh, the computer that I use is the 2021 M1 Pro 14 inch MacBook Pro. Been using MacBooks since about 2012 and haven't looked back since. This is the M1 Pro edition with 32 gigs of RAM and a one terabyte hard drive. I didn't bother going for more hard drive space and I didn't bother going for the M1 Max because I actually don't edit my own videos anymore. I have editors on the team who do that for me, which is awesome. I think 14 inch is a good size. I know people that use the 16 inch, but it just seems a bit big and beefy and it, it makes perfect sense if you're a video editor. But for my workflow, where it's mostly Slack, Notion, Google Docs, talking to people, FaceTime, WhatsApp. There's very little I need a fancy ass computer for. So yeah, thanks for having me on and I hope that's helpful. Hey Chris, thanks for having me on. So we're talking about pooters. So my main rig that I use for most things, but especially video work, is a custom built PC that I built myself. It's a hobby of mine, I build them all the time. And this one has an AMD 5950X, that's the CPU. And the graphics card I'm running is a NVIDIA RTX 3090. It's also got a boatload of RAM and you know fast NVMe drives. And that goes into uh, an ASUS 32 inch 4K ProArt monitor, calibrated color and all that kind of stuff. I only use a single display though. People are always on my back about, how can you edit videos with only one display? I don't know, you just can. And then software wise, I do pretty much everything in DaVinci Resolve, uh, but I still have some 
you know, old habits from when I was on Adobe Suite that I still use, like Audition, for example. When I first record audio, including this clip, I run that through Audition first. I still like that over the built-in DaVinci audio stuff, so I'll do my you know, normalizing and effects and stuff there, export that, then sync it up in Resolve to the video track. I think that's pretty much it. I like doing it that way because right beside my regular setup, got a controller and stuff of like that too, so when I don't want to edit anymore, just launch a game, kick back, grab the controller, Start gaming. That's how all video editing setups should be done. <laughs> Hope that was the information that you wanted. All right, I'm done. Hi, Parker Welbeck here. I make videos for a living, a lot of videos in fact. And the main computer I use to edit is this Mac Pro that you see here behind me. It is a beast of a computer, about 14 grand set me back. However, I don't recommend it. What I use and recommend is the M1 MacBook Pro Max. It is in fact essentially as fast, if not faster in some cases than my Mac Pro. So this is what I use on the road and can even use here at home because it's just as fast. And the specs I have on this thing is it is fully maxed out, which means I upgraded the RAM to 64 gigs and upgraded the storage to eight terabytes. That comes out to about $5,500. If you don't upgrade those things, you can get it for around three grand, which is still gonna be a beast of an editing machine. However, I do recommend 64 gigs of RAM as that's going to allow you to use multiple applications at the same time as well as editing. And the eight gigs of storage space, I just like to have my files local on my desktop, so that's the reason for that. But you can definitely get by with a lot less. So that's what I use and recommend for editing. All right, so I'm just jumping in the middle here to get a discussion going in the comments section. If you are a creator, what computer are you currently using? And ultimately, what would be your dream setup? Also, we are gonna be giving away a camera at 750,000 subscribers. So if you're not already subscribed, subscribe for your chance to win that camera, as well as to keep up to date with content like this because we're gonna be trying a couple new formats this year. All right, that's enough. Moving on to Super Saf. What's up guys, Super Saf here. What computers do I use? Well, I actually use multiple computers, but my main go-tos for my desktop is a PC that I built myself. It was the first PC that I built. It goes really nice with my setup, and it can also keep up on the occasional times when I game. Now, I am out and about a lot, and for that, my laptop of choice is the 16-inch M1 Max MacBook Pro. I absolutely love this thing. It handles everything that I throw at it, and because I use both Mac as well as PC, I use Adobe Premiere Pro, and it's great to be able to start a project on my PC, have it on my shared server, and continue working on it on my MacBook Pro. So that's what I use. Chris, thank you so much for having me. So when it comes to the computer I edit on, I just got myself the all new MacBook Pro M1 Max, fully spec'd out, 64 gigabytes of RAM and four terabytes internal SSD. Basically got that four terabytes because I have a lot of files on my computer, like sound effects and other editing assets. It is very easy to just relink them all the time when you work on different projects. I also have this um, 4K monitor and uh, it is from Dell, was basically the, the only 4K monitor I was able to find here in South Africa. And also, on top of that, I still kept my old laptop, my old MacBook Pro. Um, it's basically the predecessor of that one. I just kept it because now I can actually um, render videos while editing videos on that one. So a little bit of German efficiency right there. And when it comes to the um, editing program, I use Premiere Pro. Basically, I've been editing with that software for such a long time and my workflow is just really, really quick with that software. So that's why I stick to Premiere Pro. I do all of my animations and After Effects and that's basically everything. How's it going guys, Matty Apoya here. We used to edit on the Mac Pro here and then for travel stuff, we had a 16 inch MacBook Pro. Now we exclusively edit on the new 16 inch M1 Max MacBook Pro fully spec'd out. Actually, not exclusively. I did also get a 14 inch fully spec'd out M1 Max MacBook Pro. That's kind of like my home personal computer. Plus I'll use it for travel. And then to edit, we used to use Premiere, but you know how much, there's a lot of hiccups and I found it to be a lot slower than Final Cut. So we actually moved over to Final Cut Pro and our export times were just way faster. Everything was going much faster. And then I'm also betting that with the new M1 Max silicon being so good on these new MacBooks, I'm betting that Apple will do a much better job of optimizing 
final cut for the new silicon versus Premiere, which doesn't have the best track record of optimizing. So that's why we're using Final Cut. So that's our setup. Thanks, Chris, for having me on. All right, welcome to my favorite place to work. This is my office on wheels and I am editing on the 16 inch M1 MacBook Pro. This is a quantum leap in performance when it comes to editing setups. I mean, every few years, new MacBook comes around and it's like, oh yeah, it's a little bit fat. No, this M1 is worth the hype for sure. And this is actually the least specced out 16 inch M1 and it still cruises through pretty much everything I throw at it. So I don't really feel the need to upgrade to one of the more expensive fancy ones and the editing software i use is adobe premiere we've kind of been in this long-term relationship maybe like 15 years now and it has gotten a little rocky at times i was kind of flirting a little bit with davinci resolve but you know we got through it we went to couples therapy and now i'm still with premiere but yeah that's pretty much it thanks for swinging by and now get the f out so in terms of our YouTube channel here, the Chris Howe YouTube channel, finding the right computer has been a huge struggle for us over the years. I've tried so many different computers. We custom built a PC, which got us pretty close. I've been using a 2017 MacBook Pro for a very long time. I got the M1 2021 iMac. I have different PCs that I've used over the years and all of them have gotten kind of close, but they've never checked all the boxes for us. So some of our goals for 2022 is that we will be working remotely. So we made the decision to move over to an Apple ecosystem. So I will be using the 14 inch M1 Max MacBook Pro for the next little while. I got the 16 inch for Lucas. So we will be an Apple ecosystem and I'm hoping that that will finally be the solution for all of us. So we're in this transition zone right now and retiring that custom built PC over here, which has all the specs listed on the side, which has been great, but we wanna be more portable and create more often. So we're hoping that these Apple computers will do a good job because you can't deny that a lot of creators are using them even from watching this video here. I wanna do a big shout out to all the creators that were in this video. All their links are below. Thank you so much for being a part of this video. So everyone, please go down there, subscribe to their channels. Their content is absolutely amazing. Uh, if you guys like this video, please press like. It actually makes a difference. Subscribe and hit the bell to be notified for future videos. And we will most definitely catch you guys in the next one. And yes, I'm going to call it out. Gerald Undone and Super Saf have created videos like this, but they did not answer the question of what computer are all the top creators using. So I've been inspired by them. I wanted to take some influence from them. So shout out to them. All right, guys, I love you. Thank you for being here. Peace out. And a reminder again, jump into the comments section. What computer are you guys currently using and what would be your dream setup? Don't forget to subscribe for giving away a camera. It's gonna be a good one.